is a marvelous day. Today is going to be a great day. Today, my business will continue to grow through leaps and bounds. I will help more people. Today, I will help people understand their worth. I will help people create their own economy. Today, my business is great. My business is amazing. My business is awesome. I'm financially free. I'm time. I have time freedom. I, you know, I have a great life. I'm a money magnet. I am awesome. I am great. I am healthy. I am whole, guys. Speak life to you. Okay, speak life to you, ladies. Please speak life into you. So I was watching this little skit, this little one minute video on Facebook. You know, Facebook got these little viral videos that go viral, one minute, 30 second video. And the guy was saying that like women have superpowers because he said, you know, he has two children and the mother, um, she left for work. So I guess she was late for work so she couldn't get the kids ready as she usually do. So the dad had to get the kids ready and he said he will never ask her what is taking so long ever again what he said was that he had to get the two little kids ready and it took him an hour and a half and then he forgot to get himself ready and he forgot the keys so he said you know it's like women have superpowers so i started thinking and you know i started thinking about my situation where you know i you know i'm a stay-at-home mom i take care of my kids you know my husband he works he comes home see here's how it works right ladies we got to know our position right god created woman right to be the caregiver the caretaker the shoulder to cry on the shoulder to lean on you know the the go-to person to you know tell your feelings to the you know literally everything and the man's role is literally guys providing right this is this is this is not you know like news to us right this has been happening right for decades the woman stay in the house and take care of the kids because taking care of the kids in the household, guys, is a job. If people don't know that, right? Sometimes, literally, guys, I'll be working my business, but then I'll be in my house. I'll be cooking, making sure my kids, you know, got their stuff. I'll be cleaning, whatever. And then two hours go by. I'm like tired. Like, damn, mom, I'm tired. Like, I just did some work. Like, being a mom, being a wife, being a woman, just that title alone is freaking work. So women, you know, we're tired and then we got to please our husband. We got to please our spouse. They want, you know, sex. They want, you know, to be, they need attention too, right? So, so the man and all these comments on this, on this Facebook video was saying, oh, well, why the man can't never just do it? So listen, here's the thing, guys. Men can't handle the things that we can handle as women. Men cannot handle these things. Men cannot, let's take care of seven kids by themselves. They go fucking, no, they hang themselves for real. Okay, see, God gave women, right, the discernment, right, and, and gave women, uh, 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 you know, the power and the strength to be able to care, right, have that open heart. Men are not, like, open-hearted, like, men are just one way, like, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, normal men are just, like, one way, that's it, like, they just provide, real men, basically, they, they just provide, that's it. They sit on the couch. They watch TV. It could be chaos going on in the damn house. They sitting there still watching TV while the mom screaming, stop, don't do this, stop, don't do that, don't do that. Da, da, da. But God, guys, know your position, ladies, all right? We are providers. I mean, we are caregivers. The man is the providers, okay? So don't get mad, right, when, you, when your husband is sitting on the couch and everybody creating chaos in the house. Okay, don't get mad, right? I used to get upset, but now I know my position. I know that I'm a care, uh, a care provider, right? My husband is just the provider, right? I supposed to care. I supposed to get the headache because God gave us the strength. Men can't handle that stuff. Men can't handle that stuff. Like Kevin Hart said, he said he watches his kids, and he said when he watches his kids and they doing something, he's like, hey, 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 <laughs> I'm coming there, whip your ass, like. Meanwhile, moms literally be screaming to the top of our lungs and literally be ready to beat the shit out the kids. I'm telling you guys, okay? Ladies, please know your roles, 
okay? We are supposed to provide. We're supposed to care. We're supposed to console our husband. We're supposed to be the shoulder to cry on. We're supposed to take in all of everybody's feelings, okay? And the man literally is the provider. That's really the man's role, right? Now, there's instances where the woman is the provider and the man is the caregiver, but nobody can do a woman's job like a woman. No one can care for children like a woman can. It's just, that's the nature. That's how God created it. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, ladies, here's the thing. If you have a man in your house who's not providing for you and providing for your kids and paying bills or paying half of the bills, at least coming to the table with 50%, you get rid of him because he's not providing. He's not pulling his weight. He's not... Uh, he's not... Um, He's not providing and he's not uh, fulfilling his role. That's what I was looking for, fulfilling. He's not fulfilling his role as God intended. So if you got a man in your house and he just fucking you, he can't pay a bill, boo, believe me, you can masturbate all damn day, okay? You need somebody to help take care of your kids. I told one of my friends, I said, stop getting these little boys in your life, okay? Because if he can't help you pay any bills, what is the use for him? Remember, everybody has a role. Women are caregivers. Men are providers. And never mix those two up, ladies. Okay, so that's just my tip for the morning. Uh, you know, so hopefully, ladies, you understand that. Don't get frustrated when your husband don't want to do nothing. When your husband don't want to clean. When your husband don't want to change the baby diaper. Hey, listen, you know, they provide. As long as he provide, he provide, right? He doing his role? He providing? Right? He's, he's providing? Yeah, now it does get tiring. Uh, you know, for us, that's why we take breaks. We give the kids to the aunts. We give the kids to the grandparents, stuff like that. That's why we go take breaks, ladies. For real. I take breaks, right? Even though I'm a stay-at-home mom, I work from home, I still need a break. Believe me, the everyday grind will get to you. The everyday routine will get to you. That's why you need a break. That's why I'm going to Vegas, right? Me and my husband going to Vegas for four days. Kids free. I'm just getting drunk, basically. <laughs> when I go to Vegas, that's it. Okay, that is it. Then I'm getting another break. I'm going to Atlanta in July, right? I'll get another break. Get a whole weekend of nobody. No husband, no kids, nothing, right? So we got to know our roles, lady, and make sure you stay in your lane, right? Don't try to, you a single mom, you trying to be the man and a woman. Just be the kid, just be the caregiver, right? Just be the caregiver and still, you know, take care of your kids, provide for your kids, but don't get a guy <laughs> who's just fucking you. Right? You need a man who's going to help provide for you and your kids. I see it too often. These single moms get these men right, that they got to take care of. No. You need a man that's going to provide. There's plenty of men out here that will that, that, that want you. There's men that want women that have kids. Right? It's not like you know, no, no men don't want, uh, if you're a single man, you don't want a, a woman with kids. Now, now does that you know, affect you know, the way that you, you move? Yeah. But there's men out here, ladies. There's good men out here. As long as you're a good woman and you're willing to play that role of a good woman, you will attract a good man. So don't say niggas ain't shit, men ain't shit, all that. No, there's a lot of good men out here. You just got to get in position to find them, guys. So remember, ladies, you are the caregiver and the man is the provider, guys. SuccessLevelCoaching.com.